If you're like me, spending time with other women is part of my daily routine. Monarch 61 in Van Buren is a safe haven to empower women to reach their greatest potential. Our mission is to connect, uh, mentor, and empower women. And we do that through a creative hub of community art and wellness. So our thought process is that really any of us can identify with trauma. Um, so all of our classes are trauma informed. Um, we don't want any woman to come in and not feel safe or not feel um, like they have refuge here. And so we open up our facility to all women. All of our classes are free for any woman in the community. And we have about 60 classes throughout the month in art, wellness. We have some um, studies and some different book topics that we do. And everything changes all the time, just kind of based on um, creativity and just things that we see in the community that are needed. Women come from every different walk of life here. Um, we have ladies that are a part of a church that like to support us, so they'll come and bring their friends and they'll just come and hang out. Um, we actually have a group of women called the Flying Needles that come and utilize the art space to sew and they just hang out. We love to have you know different groups come in and just, just use the space. Um, but then we also have people that are referred to us from drug court, from um, the crisis center, uh, 100 families. We have lots of different resources um, that we can help women in different different places. So, For women, trauma is a long journey of healing and it looks very, very different for every woman. We, um, we heal in lots of different ways, sometimes creatively, um, sometimes through counseling, just in lots of different ways. And the idea of a one space where women could come and take art classes, wellness classes, maybe see a counselor, um, maybe do something in the beauty bar to just restore their dignity and their beauty. Um, all of that under one roof was just a, what really kind of set Monarch 61 in motion. I'm responsible for making sure that women have fun and they connect with their creativity. We have three classes a week right now, and on Mondays we're doing a color class, and we're learning about color theory and painting, and that is taught by a volunteer, Tanya Jackson, who is amazing. And then each week we do a different medium for the other class, like this week is art journaling. We do mixed media class, we have creative stirring class, and then we also do creative writing. So you can usually find us doing all kinds of different art mediums, anything that has to do with creativity. As the mentoring director, um, I will pair women with other women that relate to each other. So a lot of times it doesn't work. You know, they'll figure out that, you know, this isn't the right fit for me and it's fine. Um, but usually we can figure out some common, you know, things that they like to do, um, different things that they've been through in their childhood. And they just are really there to walk them through life. They help them, you know, they can help with finances. They can help just kind of get their lives in order and just have somebody to call. A lot of women don't have anybody that they can lean on and they could just have somebody to call. So for me, this journey really began in 2008. I was introduced to human trafficking and just that injustice in the world and really had this want um, and this passion for women to know their value and worth. One of the most profound stories that, that I can think of um, since September 1st that's happened. Um, we had a lady that, uh, she's in her mid-30s, she is a single mom, um, and she ended up at the crisis center. She was actually homeless. Um, she had been through so much trauma in her lifetime that um, she had lost all of her hair. And at this point, you know, you, you don't have a home, you don't have family here. Um, no support system at all and you're trying to find a job you feel terrible about yourself you know she had no confidence anymore because she'd lost her hair and she had no one so um, 
the crisis center actually reached out to us to, you know, ask her if she would be willing to come and just kind of, you know, let us nurture and and um, treat her in the beauty bar. So um, I actually fitted her with four wigs and she was a natural redhead. So we found her some red wigs and we did makeup and just kind of, you know, put her through the royal treatment. And she is a different person now. I mean, she she's a... Um, a steady person here. She's consistent. Uh, she's volunteered. She comes back and volunteers in the market space. But what she's been through, she was in the system her whole life. So she has so much um, knowledge that she can help other ladies that come in and that kind of have a similar experience.